is have you, have you heard of the what they they call the uh, matrix reincarnation soul trap yes yes i actually have let me plug a few channels which have been doing excellent work on this subject forever conscious research channel um the overwatch channel and wayne bush at tricked by the light.com not sure if he has a channel or not these three guys have been going into this subject a lot which is basically looking at near-death experiences looking at reincarnation um, stories of children uh, who remember their past lives and the in-between stage between lives as well as hypnotic regression therapists who have worked with hundreds of patients who regress them into past lives and or the in-between life state so they're getting also psychedelic research people doing dmt and um, ayahuasca and other psychedelics and accessing the dimension the spirit world the uh, the, the dimension between life and death so to speak um, so taking all of these areas of research that are regarding the in-between life state also looking at things like the egyptian and tibetan books of the dead which are about that they're books that the relatives of the recently deceased would read to the corpse um, to help them on their transition into the next life or into wh whatever happens next um don't the tibetans so, have a very uh interesting sort of similar post-death uh, uh practice there as well yeah 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 the, the ancient world seemed to have quite a unified um stance on this but it's yeah, native americans as well right um and the the stance that has been since kind of wiped from the slate unless you do this kind of gnostic research to piece it all together is basically that perhaps this world isn't a hundred percent perfect in the sense of how all religions praise the creator as being wholly benevolent and um you know good and but but what i see is a, a world of disease aging torture death um, natural disasters psychopaths parasites um you know uh, carn carnivores uh, there are so many things that happen in this world that if i was the creator I wouldn't put them in the world, especially if, if I wanted to create a perfect world. Um, why does a perfect world need natural disasters and yeah. animals that eat other animals to survive or even to eat anything to survive? Why can't we remember our past lives or remember um, the in-between life state? Why is there this memory wipe associated with this world? Why do parasites and psychopaths exist? These are like psychopaths have like different brain waves from other people and they can't yeah, feel they're spiritually empathy. different. Yeah, they're spiritually yeah, they're different psych people. psychoactively or, or, or whatever you want to say, psychologically, quote unquote, uh, I, we're talking in the more like suke, uh, uh, Greco sort of concept of psychology or the soul, because I mean, psychology is literally the study of the soul. They've just convinced the average uh, simpleton in the street that psychology is it's the study of your brain because these people seem to think that all emotion all rationale all uh spiritual emotions feelings uh, experiences all of this is just chemicals firing in your brain like little bits of electrical current firing with certain little bits of chemicals and that's what your memory is that's what that experience was that's what your honor is that's what your love is that's what that's what your patience is all of these are just little chemical like, like, like differences and whatnot tweaking in your brain uh it's very interesting to see how much uh, speaking of ancient greeks uh the religion of the ancient greeks is one of the few uh things that would contradict what you were just talking about there of the idea of the creator gods or gods being perfect in that sense greeks are one of the only groups of people that i can think of that their religious pantheon is actually very very mortal in that sense in terms of imperfections to the point of like gross fucking just ridiculous uh perversion and, and and twistedness dementedness but i think that's honestly a far better representation of the sort of consciousness that would create this experience than uh 
than what one might seem. I mean, you've created a book. You've you've written fiction as well as actual uh, nonfiction books. I mean, technically, Asbestos Head is, is very much so much more of like a, an allegorical work than necessarily true fiction fiction. But still, uh, I myself, having uh, written a book there and having uh, come up with entire fictional uh, storylines and all this sort of stuff, there's conflict in there. There's There's struggle in there. There's things that aren't necessarily good right but there there has to be that bad for the good to overcome in order to make a good story so i would say in that sense it could make sense of why we collectively would have something like all of this negativity it's just it feels like something people could give into as whether or not that's the case or that's actual like energy vampires psychologically that have been parasitically feeding off of us this entire time through our negative emotion through our suffering through our obsession then i I could see it, honestly, without with the way that the people that run this system uh, act, it definitely feels like that's a serious possibility. And that is what they use, it seems, to get us to consent to coming back to this world and this system over and over again is this idea of karma or the idea that we can do better and that this is a school and negativity exists because we need to learn from it. And there's some ultimate mission somewhere that ultimately we were able to graduate from. And then that's worth all this torture and death and disease and dying and natural disasters and psychopaths and memory wipes and parasites and uh, having to consume beings to stay alive and all of this stuff that doesn't have to exist in our reality, but it does. Yeah. We could, I, you know, we instead of our bodies beginning the way they do and slowly <clears throat> aging and succumbing to disease and torture and dying <clears throat> i could we could we could live in a world in which you slowly your body becomes more and more like immortal like a like wolverine uh what, what is he not titanium but Adamantium. adamantium adamantium you know we could we could have some <laughs> some sort of or, or gold or, or whatever the strongest or be stuff. entirely spiritual beings that don't need a corporeal physical form and can exist entirely in that sense you know i i totally get you on that one there's so well, many potentials and possibilities and ideas i mean the human imagination is nigh endless if not actually endless it's something that i feel like collectively we could come up with so much more interesting so much better so much there are so many better stories than so, what we are experiencing now. <laughs> exactly. So why do we always come back here? Is this the only dimension in existence? Is this the only world there is to incarnate into? The only place souls can possibly go? Is this morally questionable place that has all this, all these negative aspects that I'm saying? Like the, there's nowhere in the multiverse that souls can go for actual peace there's nowhere we can go where there's highly evolved soul like no psychopaths and just a bunch of like really empathetic nice people that want to have have a good time with their lives like that doesn't exist anywhere in the multiverse that we can go like i don't believe that i feel like we have been tricked just like tricked by the light.com or some of these yeah. channels i recommended are talking about that we're being tricked to come back in here and we keep consenting to it because a memory wipe is part of this process this reincarnation process and a few people have little glimpses where they are able to see the in-between life state or their past life and they have you they, ever had any experience like that sorry to interrupt i'm just curious on that one uh, i wish um no yeah I mean, same uh, same i, I've, I haven't I've had, at all either i have had a dream in which it was very real, more like th than a normal dream, in which I felt like I was observing this plane from on high and about to incarnate. And like there's a bunch of other souls around me and they were really excited about and concerned about the fact that I was going to incarnate here. Um, like it was a really dangerous thing for my soul to do. But, I, but in the dream, I was all like, like I was not, concerned about it at all because I knew that this world was fake anyway and that I'd eventually return back to them anyway um, and it just felt like really real um, so I'm not sure if that was a 
you know, memory or not. But well, I, I've certainly had the feeling that I've been here before and that there's so much of beyond just the the deja vu, although I have had serious strong stuff when it comes to that of deja vu and all that. I haven't had past life experiences or anything, but I found that I've had really weird dreams that like several years later, just really benign events, normal conversations with people and stuff like people that I haven't even met at the time. I'll have like dreams about and stuff and it's that person in name and face and all this stuff and i don't recognize them i have no idea who the hell this person is but then later i'll go through that exact situation and it those sort of experiences definitely make me feel as though this is time is much more of a fluid sort of a a, a plastic sort of a construct that is not actually uh as rigid as a lot of people like to think or as linear as a lot of people think, because there's something about this existence that our spiritual being, our core pre like pre and post exists or like, like is is beyond in some way. And Absolutely. I really wonder if that's not something to do with our ability to share with one another, because I, I this feeling of, again, through the music stuff, through the activism and everything, it feels like you're doing what you're supposed to be doing because not just because it's the right thing to do, but because there's something inside you that drives you to continue doing this. And I, it, it, I struggle to try and understand fully what that is. I'm sure you do. I'm sure anybody that's listening here struggles, especially during times like these where having the alternate point of view can now land you the title of a terrorist demon thought criminal monster heretic, right? Where they're trying to goddamn imprison your ass over some words on the internet. But uh, uh, so it's, it's a the, strange existence. Yeah. This little summary I wrote. What if we are all actually infinitely powerful, unique, sovereign creators ourselves with the ability to create whatever world, heaven, or afterlife we wish on our own? But instead of creating and living in our own worlds, we're being tricked into reincarnating into someone else's creation here. A creation filled with pain, suffering, torture, death, natural disasters, de disease, predators, psychopaths, parasites, no memory of previous lives, and many other things that I personally would never choose to have in my created world. I wonder if the returning to oneness Brahma concept could be a deception used by the creators of this realm to get us to give up our individuality and submit to going back into the light of oneness soup with all the other recycled souls. Have you seen the movie Soul? It's a Disney movie? Uh, no, I, oh yeah, yeah, it's a newer movie. I've seen the ads for it, but I haven't watched it yet. It, it is kind of a truth bomb in this uh, area in that it, it gives a, a nice way of looking at what potentially could be happening in the in-between life state and how we very well may be being tricked into going into the light um, rather than maintaining our sovereignty and not consenting to any of these afterlife beings and their mandates that they make of us. And this is the area of research that these people I recommended have been going into where they're researching near-death experiencers and psychedelic researchers and hypnotic regression therapists, etc., and seeing all the commonalities between their experiences. And what seems to be happening is that when you first die, you your consciousness becomes expansive. You think some something, some place, you are there instantly. So you, yeah. that means you have teleportation. That means, like you said, we don't need to have a physical body, but we still have sense experience. They can still think and see and hear things, but it's expanded. They say their consciousness is expanded and they're, they travel at the speed of thought. And so this is just happening as they've died and they're, they're just recalibrating and, and understanding their new abilities as a sovereign soul. And what happens every time? A deceased relative or a spirit guide or an angel or Jesus Christ or Buddha or Muhammad or whoever it is that would speak to you personally and make you want to believe them could even be a long lost pet. <clears throat> well, yeah, the most well, dangerous poison is the one that baits you to eat it, man. Right. 
And so what these near-death experiences will experience is these beings, these, whatever type of being that would have the most influence on them appears. A 15-foot Jesus appears to a Christian and then starts showing them a life review of their entire life, picking specific areas usually uh, that have to do with fear, guilt, or shame, and then showing you like, hey, see, remember this time? And then you will feel, you'll see the entire experience and feel it from everyone's perspective, including your own and whoever was influenced by you. And so it's like you're getting inundated with the karma, the results of whatever you did in this fucked up reality. You know, that's the other thing. So, like I said, this reality is pretty gray. It's, it's not black or white. Yeah, yeah. And so if we lived in a white reality, karma would be a pretty easy thing to do. But if you lived in a gray or black reality, suddenly karma is more of a um, obstacle than a... Yeah, almost like a weight wrapped around your neck. Exactly. And so, and that's what happens in these transitional spaces with these beings of light that come and show you your life review. They're always pointing out these areas where you didn't do the best and then giving you the opportunity to reincarnate in a new life and this time this guy he'll be your son instead of your father or he'll be your friend instead of your enemy and you can right all the wrongs that you made in this life and ultimately it's always getting you to consent to going back into the light and then getting reincarnated into a new body but what that always in um what always goes along with that is the memory wipe and this is yeah. so so contrary to what they're saying because they say that oh life is a school oh it's all about karma oh this world all the negative stuff yeah. is so you can learn but and how grow if you from can't it. remember it, how can how you can grow you if you can't remember yeah. it exactly yeah so it's more like they are harnessing some type of energy that or our souls our consciousness they want us here and they're tricking us to coming back here over and over again when in reality once we leave this body we become way more free. powerful yeah P potentially we are you know completely um, to quote powerful. a movie made by a very uh, interesting member of a certain tribe there strike me down and i'll become more powerful than you could ever imagine interesting i, I didn't think, think of that what quote in about. this context <laughs> yeah. but yes exactly we Pretty all heavy. do that when we become struck down we become infinitely more powerful than we are in this reality in these bodies and instantly some agents from the matrix always come in whatever form will be most influential to us to get us to feel guilty about this or that thing that happened in this life so that we'll consent to coming right back here once again but i mean why well can, give me a second can i get my you know let me let me figure out this whole afterlife soul without a body floating around moving at the speed of thought thing can i and, and this is what and why would um, they rush you why would anyone want to exactly rush you? why would any entity but you trying to push you to go as quick as possible when time is nothing to you it's immaterial right it, it, it's non-existent <clears throat> essentially it's something that you can like to reach into like it's a pool of water or something yet you can remain completely out of why would you need to it's time is imperative come on act 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 the the system that we live in very much so seems to bear all these same hallmarks does it not exactly right it seems like these governments this new world order this these secret societies and this system of evil that operates in the physical world in this dimension uh there may be an element of that in the other dimension that keeps us coming back here People in most of the world's major religions now have this idea that whatever created this realm is 100% benevolent and good, and you should want nothing more than to reincarnate here. But what if there's better places? What if you can create your own better place and have other people come? What if there's all this, <clears throat> all these other souls in a sovereign area of the afterlife realm who are able to co-create and bleep in and out of each other's co-created worlds and this one is more like a prison where we cannot leave it until we die and it seems that way, like the way dreams work and the way sleep works is like why do we have to sleep so often what is, what is dreams what is it or, or out of body experiences and all this stuff it's like we our, our real being is in, intangible it's an immortal soul and we're being tricked to coming into this body in this subpar 
realm, this subpar dimension ruled by evil psychopaths. And even when we die, we get tricked to coming back in here rather than exploring the potentially infinite multiverse of much better dimensions that are most likely out there.